All right, hello everyone. This is Jen. Wanted to make a tutorial for the mod that Jedi Josh920 had come out with um, earlier this year. He called it the Ghost of Tsushima PC mod menu. And had a couple of requests of people um, wanting to figure out how to avoid crashing and what are all the features that it allows. So I'm going to go over everything that I know of to avoid crashing in the game and to stabilize uh, any models or NPC spawning. And then I'll teach you a couple of little tricks that I discovered along the way as I was uh, doing experiments and stuff. So. Anyways, first, um, this is recommended um, based on what Jedi Josh has told me, that the broken armor is the most stable armor that you want to have underneath any model that you wear. So you can definitely try other options, and I'll show that to you later, but at this time I'm just going to show with the broken armor. So first thing you need to know is about this setting right here called the model changer auto apply flavors so the reason you might have this on or off is how you want the model to load into the world so uh, if you have it on it means all the different assets that are built into a model just got all pasted on really quickly and um that is the source of a lot of crashing for most of the models that I have experimented with. Some don't worry about it, but uh, most of them, uh, you actually want to have this setting on off. So once you disable it, whenever you put a model on, it will allow you to put on each piece at a time and that will keep the model um, to be more stable. So let's give an example of something I could turn into. So. One of the models that I know of that is a little bit harder to make sure that it works correctly is uh, some of Shimura's models. So I'll just add in, let's try this one. So usually you have to double click enter to get it to work. So the first time it's just kind of um, retrieving the assets, but then the second time uh, clicks in. So as you can see, we have a list of flavors that show up. So you can see that it's not, uh, as is right now, is not a perfectly rendered model. You can see the uh, dagger on the knee is not supposed to be there. It really should be at his side, but there's ways to fix it. Uh, from my experimenting, not all of these flavors do anything, at least nothing that's like readily visually available. So. What I know is, usually if you start from the bottom, you'll be able to put things in correctly. Oh, look who's about to come in. I'm actually going to demonstrate this model in action for you guys. Oh. I guess I scared them all. As you can see, I actually have Jin's sword on. And this allows you to actually use real combat if you don't apply any flavor. So I haven't even clicked any of these in the setting. However, uh, there are things you might want to know about in order to uh, get rid of that knee problem. So as we add flavors, most of the things you see are not going to uh, affect this model, but you want to find whichever model will actually cause things to work normally. So, whichever model this one is, it looks like it might have something that is a part of a separate model. But um, even now, the sword is not correct. So, uh, Let's dig it around. So I know this one with Chimra, if you want to uh, keep him stable, you do not access this flavor, the one that ends at EE6. I believe the reason why this one crashes is because it's trying to spawn in a horse with him. So you don't want to touch that one. But you can try some of the other models just to see if anything happens. Typically, 
not much happens, but it's usually the one right below the crashing model. So uh, you don't really need to memorize specific flavors, but you just need to know um, anything that's right below uh, EE6 for his model, for example, is uh, going to create the model. Um, so let me show you ways in order to fix this problem here. So let's go to an onsen. So whenever you uh, fast travel or restart at a checkpoint, the model goes away. So. As you can see, I still have the flavor menu in front of me, but actually I want to go back to what I started with. So these are all the Shimmer models that I've accessed in the game. Uh, just by encountering him, he automatically adds into the uh, list. As you can see, I have 412 models that I've accessed, and it's still not all the models in the game. Um, so let us turn this one on again. And as is, I should be able to fix the dagger if I go straight into the onsen here. I'm going to try adding those flavors to see if that helps with being able to use the button. Yes, it does. <laughs> I don't know which flavor it was, but it allowed me to uh, enter with Chimbra. As you can see, his eyes is closing. Even while he is right here, you can actually fix his model, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can switch models while you're in the onsen. But as you can see, that fixes the tanto so that the uh, you don't have that issue with the knee anymore. Um, it's still not his proper sword, but uh, you can fight properly. <laughs> Has no, no issues with the combat in this setting. Um, so that, yeah, his default, it happens to have the armor and helmet and everything, but if you want to switch to other models, that's what these are for uh, switching. So let's go to this one. Yep. And as you can see, the, the tanto and the sword are all correct. So. So yeah, he looks normal. If I were to switch to another model now, I would have to go back into the onsen to get that to work correctly. So let's switch to someone else. How about... Let's do uh, one of these characters, Samurai Guardians. These are females in the game. So we'll get this one accessed. Uh, the generic model usually starts out with uh, something that's kind of buggy looking like this, but the head and the arms are missing. But this is where you add all the flavors. So you also want to be careful about not clicking ones that will uh, crash. It takes a little bit of trial and error to figure it out, but usually I just start from the bottom and start putting everything in. So let's start here. And we just go one at a time, applying the flavors. So here is basically a functional model. Um, this one that I just added at the very end here was 3CB, which gave her the swords. And these swords are not operable. Uh, even if you click uh, square or triangle, it just doesn't work. So in order to fix her, we would also have to go uh, into the onset to fix that. <laughs> As you can see, she's a little bugged out when she actually enters the onset, but don't worry about that. She'll be fine. And now you can see that she's been given Jin's swords, so she can fight just like Jin. <laughs> now let's try another model that I think might have a little more uh, intricacies to it. So let's do Yuna's model. There's a couple of hers, so let's pick this one. Yeah, so she's glitched out, makes her Tonto land in her 
uh, uh, wrist. So let's go through her model and see which one is going to crash her. Because I think it might be um, the one that would be right after whatever fixes her sword. So. Okay, so this one actually gives her a fur coat, this model. And then this one gives her her proper bow. She also has a sword here, as you can see, it's like a specially modeled one for her. Um, so right now, this model is not active for fighting, so that's why we would get her here. Get her out. As you'll notice, her tanto actually appears on a different side of her body than Jin. So where her knife usually appears, uh, it's gotten replaced with Jin's tanto. And this becomes a functional model after this point. As you can see from my list, I have quite a few very unusual models that are nothing like Jin. So even the body type is different. Here, let's try what Kotun Khan would be like. So he has a whole bunch of flavors, but I'm going to go through them until Jin he's properly fixed. So, so right now he has access to the sword if you don't click any flavors, but he does have the um, uh, Tanto that's sticking, sticking out of his arms, and the uh, uh, the sword kit as well. Sometimes that fixes it, where if you just sheathe and unsheathe, uh, it will go underneath the model there, as you can see. So sometimes it might be good enough as it is for photos, if you don't mind um, a little bit of errors, but there's other ways to make this uh, look a little better. Okay, so this one right here at 49F uh, uh, gave him his spear. But unfortunately, the, sport, the spear does not work. We cannot do combat with it. One of these flavors, though, gave him his voice. So you can actually uh, roleplay as Kuchin Khan in Tsushima. He can have uh, have stolen one of the katanas of his victims. And now he will attack Tsushima with it. So yeah, give this stuff a shot. Uh, now I'm going to show you some things. Um, to avoid if you're trying to spawn in with the NPC spawner. 